welcome back to my youtube channel favorite i'm here i'm your host your beautiful host i find now i'm mary mary welcome to talk with mary mary everyone and today on our show we have an amazing person my lover my sister my friend in christ my everything <laughs> Hi guys, hi favorite. <laughs> I love to be that party. Favorite, so this is family, hi favorite. Family or favorite. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Introduce yourself. So my name is Sharon Adisoya. So nice to meet you all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're Thank very, you. very happy to have you on our show. Thank you. And you look beautiful, but she be she fine. As we do on this show, she ain't gonna be following her. Hallelujah to me. You know, it's loyal to how loyal to me. I know she's finer than me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Loyal to me. Anyways, we're so happy to have you on Thanks the show, you. and I know that it's going to be a smooth ride. Yeah, yeah. So, my favorites, as you know, how we do here in this my area, we do always they give our guests, our talk activity, join us, come to <laughs> show their favorite thing. And this best way, they are favorite to na chivita or what do they call her? Chi active. She wants to correct me. She say na chi active. Not doing this advertise any brand, but chivita active, and that's what she got. And this Thank is you. just us saying cheers to yeah. opening the show. Cheers, yes. my love. <laughs> Anyways, guys, do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting on? What are you waiting for? Please beg Please them. subscribe. Well, subscribe to this channel. This is where it's happening. This is yes. happening, place. Now, yeah, it's the apple. Yes, sir. It's the apple for a year. Our topic for today, my esteemed viewers, is um, and struggles of entrepreneur in Lagos. People, whether they do business, whether they say they won't be their own worker, their own boss, their day to day struggles, you know, down from the Lagos traffic itself, the economy, which we have no control over. Down to your client, down down to Okada delivery people frustrating you. You get it. Down to your capital. We are going to be talking about everything on here, and this is the perfect person because she runs businesses. Please tell them what you are involved in. Ah, okay. <laughs> so um, yes, I own a hair business brand, right? Mm -hmm. Barnet de Sharon, mm -hmm. which my lovely hair. Is and even yes. <laughs> yes. you know, it's from Barnet to Sharon, right? And then I have a food business, so they are both small scale, right? But then there are two businesses that are you know helping us keep two and two together, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, so of course I have experience. Um, Barnet to Sharon has been um on since 2020, right? And then. The food business Sharon's cuisine started last year. Yay. So, yeah, we are going to be talking from um apart from businesses, I've been opportune to be a supervisor in a organization, and I know what it means to always supervise people on field. I was always out on the field, so we're just going to talk about the struggles in Lagos, particular. We are narrowing it to Lagos because I'm not sure still any states. <laughs> Lagos. <laughs> you know, we can talk about Nigeria in during as we are going on, but like because the economy generally or the country is not in a very is not in the best place that we the citizens want it to be. But for now, now Lagos we talk about is how was getting capital to start the business for like you because now that's hmm. the most important thing. <laughs> Okay. Really, because in my head, I'm already thinking capital was really hard, and mm -hmm. you just had to start with food because you know maybe it might not require much capital. I don't know. Maybe pay before you eat or something, right? Okay. So, so um, I don't know if you want me to speak about the hair business or the food business. So let me start from the hair business. Okay. Okay. So the thing is, the secret about hair business is you actually don't necessarily need any capital. Let's be honest. We so the little capital you might need. It's just maybe your transportation to where the suppliers are. Data on your phone, you, know, you, you need an Android phone or an iPhone. Data on your phone, right? To be able to snap the exactly. Best, right? okay. And then, yes, yeah, so take good pictures to be able to post online and then maybe money for um, what they call it, sponsored ads. Okay. Right? Okay. So that is not necessarily the big, just as, as someone that is just starting, so that okay. you don't experience so much of a loss, loss. 
So when I started my business, I didn't even have this idea. So I met a friend, I had a friend from school that I knew that was already doing the business. So I went to meet her and then she introduced me to her supplier, right? The woman, before she could get any trust in me or anything, I had to buy, um, 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 what's it called? Hair. Hair's worth almost 200K, I think. Mm. So, and that was my first mistake, right? So I didn't, I didn't have this idea of, oh, I just needed my phone. And so even the hairs that she told me, I was like, are they fast selling? She was like, yes. And, you know, I got the hairs and it took me months to, to sell, sell those hairs. hairs. You can imagine the frustration, mm -hmm. you know, and then I didn't get the value of value for my money. Mm -hmm. So I had to, you know, I, I met my sister-in-law actually put me through and then I went into the market, did my own market survey, went to meet different suppliers, got their numbers. I saw that they used to post on their this now. I'll send me this video. I'm reselling. Let me send to my let me post on my hair. So that's how I started and I kept posting. And of course, I have a large audience. I'm some I'm a people's person, right? I'm in different small, small groups. I'm the choir, I'm at the gym, you know. So I posting like that and from there. You know, people say ordering little by little, and that was it too. And we supported her. Exactly, so like my friend supported me. My friend supported me. So you see, that's the thing. You always need people in your life, right? If not for my sister in law, I wouldn't have even known that I don't need huge capital to start a hair awesome. business. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. I, I personally would want you to talk about delivery struggles. What hmm. have riders done to you? Because as the client on the receiving end, riders are frustrated. Mm -hmm. Then they come, then they come. Sometimes three days they never come. Is it that they tell you no fur? Is it that they tell you they enter some sand? Is it that they tell you they are sick? Their machine broke. There's always something. No, there's always something. Tire. <laughs> so I want, and it's very annoying to me as a client, not to talk of you that runs the business, because mm. I know that. They frustrated me and I frustrated the, the person, the owner of the business, because I keep calling, where is this person? Why, why is my thing? So how have you handled this? Like, oh, first of all, they frustrate you, but they don't be frustrated. Maybe yeah. me, they over fast. My sister, I feel like if dispatch riders, eh, at some point, like you have to carry them like the eggs, like, like eggs. You have to carry them like the assistant gods of your business. If not, apart from God creating his special place, if to in fire not, <laughs> so you know what? First of all, it's God that has been helping me with dispatch riders. I won't lie; God has really helped me. I, I think I've just found favor mm -hmm. that I've not had any extreme experience, even if I'm always paranoid. So because of my paranoia, I always, I'm always like ten steps ahead. Now. I don't do that. Um, um, why I want dispatch? It will go around for me for the day. Then I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I use apps, either GoCada or um, what's it called? Uber dispatch. Uber dispatch. That's what I use. And but those you know, ones would then cost more, right? No, funny enough, Uber dispatch is very cheap. It's the only problem is they don't go everywhere. Yeah, but GoCada and, is but expensive. GoCada go, GoCada is expensive. So that's the difference. So now. But it, the expensive is relative because if you're if you're getting a dispatch, maybe a random dispatch from Marina, Lagos Island, and you say you want them to help, oh my God, they will so charge you, you know. So sometimes I think about it like, am I bearing the loss on the app? I can track them, or like somebody that you just sent on the road, mm -hmm. on Uber app, I can see that you have been here for ten minutes, you've not moved. Where are you? Good. I can call, you know. I keep calling, and once you know, they get irritated when you call and call and call. My dear, I will call you because anything you have put my market, <laughs> I'm wow. the one that will bear the loss. Exactly. So I I'm call. Sorry, they will tell you exactly. You didn't have the money exactly. So that paranoia is always there. Of course, I pray, right? I pray that I don't fall into bad hands. But to be honest, apps, especially Uber, you know, they've helped my business. Those are the people I use. When it comes to dispatch riders. Oh, so now you're kind of like giving a shout out to Uba. Uba, thank you for Uber. Me, my friends. <laughs> no, Uba, I give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I know that, yes, I've used Sharon and she always used those businesses. But when I order from some other people, they use like, 
and I don't blame them sometimes to cut costs because when you're seeing you're buying something of five thousand and the delivery is four thousand. You want to use the one of two five, yes. and two five will not just do special delivery for you. You know, two five will either carry it's coming from the cage. We carry all the things of Aja. <laughs> they are not the only one. There's traffic. We can provide this traffic. Lagos and traffic. You know one thing I, I realized. It's possible that nothing is actually causing the traffic. No truck fell. Yeah, I believe we mommy no. Mommy no. Oh to fight God. over us band. When they are not fighting, they need to invisibly it is sit on ridiculous. The road they to. It is ridiculous. Because by the time we get to the front, we didn't see the thing that caused me the traffic. I, she, she, she didn't like it. And Go let me right. another thing is I feel like we Lagosians too. Very big problem. So today, I think on the road, we just saw we saw traffic ahead, right? And on the map, it was showing red. And guess what? When we got to the front, it was just drivers avoiding pothole, so they were driving slowly. And we, it was three lanes. Ah, my lane was moving. The other two lanes, oh was, they were God. just stopped. And the pothole was across the whole three lanes. You know, so it wasn't like it was ah, just my lane that came my God, pothole. it was terrible. Like it the, was something that you can use your common sense for. Like you could have just, you know, they could have found a way to even the, the potholes were not like deep potholes in Lagos. You understand? They were just trying to, have, and they were taking their time as if. People at the back had all the, and that's one thing that causes traffic in Lagos that can be very annoying. And one way, and trying to overtake, and not being patient. Lagosians, change your ways. We are mad. Ah, hmm. everybody's mad. I'm telling you. Everybody's. Have you? So for food, I always see this thing on Twitter where they say this person right has eating the chicken and the rice. Has it ever happened to you, or have they poured your food or it's not mm. complete? We need to enjoy our drinks. Sorry, hope you guys are enjoying your drinks. <laughs> so, yeah, as I was saying, has any rider eating your food? To the glory of God. <laughs> so, we want to shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Nobody has tried that nonsense because I always say I'm 10 steps ahead of these people. So, when I package my food, right, I, not, I use um, this, what they call cling film. So I, I do soup bowls. So I put the cling film on the on the pack. After putting the cling film, I pack it in the nylon. Mm. After packing it in the nylon, I use cello tape to wrap. Tell me how you want to cut through the cello So tape even right when you it. cut through, they will catch you. You know, and you will pay through your nose. Because, I mean, when somebody has other 10,000 naira soup bowl, you now go and cut. <laughs> you understand? You'll be cut. So I think... It all has to do with the packaging. Mm. You can't just do like some brands. Let me not mention them, mm. right? Because their food is affordable. They will just put the chicken and the rice and they just put, put rubber band and put it inside nylon and send it. You remove the rubber band, eat what they want to eat, close mm. the back and, you know? So you too, as, yeah, as an entrepreneur, or if you have a food business, your packaging has to be lit. You might not have enough money for the expensive packaging, mm -hmm. my dear, buy cello tape. That's my advice to you. Buy cello tape, everyone. Buy cello that's tape. our advice to you. I think that's like the highlight of today. For me, Sha, mm -hmm. I have never experienced it. I've only seen it. I've ordered food online from all these online apps, vendors, and nobody has actually eaten mine. So they come to me in one piece. Maybe the only thing I'll get if I order like a father or whatever, maybe the, the oil tilted, like the soup tilted, if there is oil on the body. Yeah. Apart from that, I've never really had um, problems with this part, but I know that they take forever to come because of the traffic. And as much as I want to sympathize with them, some of them do it deliberately. Once they check their map and they see, like what Sharon was saying, that we were coming today, we saw red, but in getting to the front, it was free. Once some of them check the map and it is red, they don't come. Yes. They will not call you and say, Auntie, there is plenty of traffic. Go very early tomorrow morning, I will come. So they always do for me. I've always had that. Obviously, I stay on the island and there's always traffic on the island. So I always have that particular problem, like that particular problem. But anyways, let's leave this patch. And just to cheat this for the dispatch you guys should always be safe yeah sometimes they drive too rough they want to over 
they just to get to where because we are obviously we are hurrying them on the of phone course. so they want to like get there on time you have to protect yourself and be safe because i beg you where i see some of you drive and overtake you want to drive and say jesus it's please protect so, them so dangerous jesus, please so dangerous them. If I should, please as much as people do terrible jobs <laughs> apart from uber still your life is very important so please um what would you say about the economy how it's affecting your business from the diesel increase the poor increase the lights sometimes that you don't have and always having to buy for in your gen because these things and buying for in the generator or buying for in car you then now increase the price in market especially when we have fraud problems that is beyond our control because it's the economy and the country we are in how do you how do you deal with that and how do you always have to tell your clients that ah, it's only 10,000 naira, it's not 15,000 naira. How do you strategize to tell them and how do we the clients, how do we take it? Because we that we work nine to five, if there's crisis in the country, if our salary is 1,000 naira, it's still 1,000 naira they will pay us. They will of never course. increase. So if I'm buying Sharon Cuisine's food for 10,000 naira and she's coming to tell me 15,000 naira, the economy, which I know is the economy, but in my mind I'll be like, it's still the same 1,000 naira that they are paying me. Yes. I'm not in. Do you understand? How yes. do I increase my own money to fit your fifteen thousand naira, which might not then make me look for you cheaper, because there's always cheaper. Yeah, always even options. If it, even if it's shitty, yes. there's always cheaper options. So, like, how have you handled handled that? Now? Okay, so there's one thing I always see. I so my business, the way I built my brand, I built a brand that is for everybody. So I mean, from the lowest budget to the highest budget you can always get something right so especially with price increase because i'm, I'm most of everything that happens in the country the economy and everything mostly affects price mm -hmm. now sometimes i um what's it called i reduce quantity portions okay. so let's say um my um my, my small uh, plate of rice is 1800 right with mm -hmm. chicken now the size of the chicken before <laughs> my dear it will reduce except you, you know need to pay the additional so, price of income exactly and i know that people to be honest people always want more um what's it called more food more than food even the protein have. So it's better if you know that the, the size of chicken is too small, you can buy two. Mm -hmm. Or you can even request, you can do a customized order. I want the biggest size, like turkey now. I want the full turkey. Put it for turkey. you. And the, you pay the extra money. But it doesn't mean that somebody that still wants to buy at the former price will not be able to eat. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to eat just at maybe reduced chicken, mm -hmm. right? Chicken. One thing I know is that the I don't, quality, is still, the quality is still the same. Okay. I don't I don't mess around with quality. Yeah. So I can reduce quantity or increase quantity, but then I don't mess with my quality That's because yes. Yeah, so I use that now in communicating the increase like of price to my customers. I think I've been blessed with really understanding customers. You right? are this girl is a you know? girl. Let me <laughs> I've been blessed with really understanding customers because I do not just come one day and say so I, I, I try to be wise about increasing the prices, right? So when I first started, my food was 1,000 naira. It was like charity, mm -hmm. you know? My small plate of rice and chicken, or um, stir fry spaghetti and chicken. And then I noticed that they were both 1,000 naira. I noticed that it's cheaper to make jollof rice and chicken than stir fry spaghetti. And my stir fry, trust me, <laughs> it is of... stir fry. Mm -hmm. So it's cheaper to make jollof rice and chicken than um, stir fry. So I differentiated the price. I said, okay, jollof rice, 1,000, stir fry, I want to. When I saw that this is, the country is turning upside down. I don't know what is happening. The prices of things, I'll go to the market today, tomorrow, in different price entirely. I increase it, okay. The other one was one two. the other one was one five. Mm -hmm. To the point where I increased from one five. One was one five. One was one eight. And then at some point, because of the increase in price of rice, they were both one eight flat rate. Now, I use my conscience to increase my price. I did not just come and say, oh, rice was 1,000 before. It's now 2,000. Mm. People will be like, 
and that's just ridiculous i mean how did you just go from, from 1000 1, to 2000 1, 2, you, you understand over, over you know 10%. exactly 100% increase. so i feel like as business owners like i know that you want to make your you want to get okay. your, make your profit and stuff but then sometimes think about the future you have more loyal customers when you know that okay this person is honestly not just increasing prices so that she can build her house and buy her car just on my one plate of food mm -hmm. you understand the person is being considerate with the prices and all of that and the customers will be more understanding mm -hmm. so far so good even when i increase the price everybody just be like mm, i understand we are in the country together you understand yeah. because i'm not increasing my price to an outrageous amount mm -hmm. so i think that is how i've been able to handle you know that yeah, so far okay um so you know you've spoken about individual clients a lot of you might not know what sharon also does um launch packs for a lot of companies she's worked for some companies where they feed their employees when you tell them about increasing price do they also understand or they go gaga no. because like i said we nine to five people they do not increase our mm -hmm. salary so i wanted to know from a company's view are they also understanding no no companies are not understanding in fact they're the ones that will give you the problems the most mm -hmm. so what you do is like i said wisdom you know wisdom from god so you reduce quantity okay i think that's the trick there guys you reduce quantity, reduce quantity and then you can even the you can even create options and I say, okay, there's now the 500 pack, there's now the 1000 era pack, mm. there's the 15 pack. You understand? That's that way. They're saying, okay, did they not have options? There's an increase in price, but they're not feeling the direct impact. impact. So there's a way you've increased the price without them feeling it so much. So much. And I'll be like, okay, the company used to get this together for 1000, it's no more like that you anymore. You guys need to know, you she know? studied business administration and marketing. <laughs> In yes, and that's I the did. Strategy she's giving you today. <laughs> Going to school pays, guys. It does. It see. does. You, know, you, don't go to you, want to say, you go, you go do five hundred, hundred naira, ah. five food. So you it's best to naira. just create options. I mean, when I started my business, I was using this very fancy pack. You know, now that fancy pack is only for companies or on demand. Mm i use normal so i don't of course i would not go below standard and use foam right mm -hmm. but i use normal takeaway packs and i notice that people are very okay with the normal mm -hmm. takeaway packs yeah. not you understand mm -hmm. so no matter how fancy i'm trying to go like i even if i want to do okay luxury um food pack and i do food trees as well mm -hmm. so if i want to do i know the kind of takeaways i use for the ten thousand era food okay. tree the pack in it is different from the pack of fifty thousand naira food tree. Obviously, exactly. So there are things, things, little things like that to consider in food business. That's what will help you and save people money. People are noticing. People yes. are noticing. So don't just think that they will not notice the little things you do. Your packaging, your plates, your quality. Yeah. Fifty thousand naira food is different from ten thousand naira. They are noticing all these things. So is there anything you would want to say to an upcoming, um, you know, business owner? Owner in lagos to be precise <laughs> because me i believe that you will run mad or run mad we run mad it is a madness continuation i'll tell you but do it in christ so you don't run mad in real life i'll tell you no, it's madness so like from a business perspective what would you say number one as cliche as it sounds ah you need god it's see cliche, god if is god cliche. is not no it sounds cliche because people always say god god and everybody thinks that you're just saying god mm -hmm. you, you need, need god, god mercy in god your business you need god so number one thing let god order your steps number one secondly my dear <laughs> learn patience because <laughs> Yes, I mean, I, I had to learn. It was my business that actually taught me how to be patient yes. because hmm, Lagos shares will show you pepe pe pe. as a business owner. So you need to learn how to be patient. Listen more. Listen more. Don't be quick to talk and argue with your customers. Listen more. And then when it comes to capital and all of that, to be honest, if you know that you are not on the buoyant side, improvise you are in a technology age for god's sake watch videos see what these people are doing 
as you're watching the videos no how you're watching this one yes now. yes research you know go online instead of um, watching movies and all those things do your research and then from there you can start little by little the small money that you have for some businesses like hair business that you don't need any money mm. you just need your data take good pictures make good videos quality videos post them you know join groups don't be an island no man is an island you need customers you know if you don't have money for sponsor that is referrals that will help you exactly. referrals helped me so much you know so referrals will help you so join groups any little thing that even if it's church or if it's your mosque or whatever religion you're in you know go there be useful help be helpful before you know it and you pitch your business know how to pitch yourself know how to carry yourself you understand I think that that's what has yeah, helped me so far. Yeah, say determination so you don't give up because the yeah. pressure from Lagos can break you. Yes. But if you have a goal and you're focused, even when you feel broken, you can look back at your drawing board and be like, I'm not yet where I want to be. And you push again. Yes. And you keep pushing. So determination is really needed. Focus and it goes. So what, to what end do you want to do this hair business? To what hair end do you want to do this um, cleaning business, cooking business? There should be an end goal. Yes. Do you plan to, um, do you see yourself having a shop in five years time? Because now you can start um, businesses from the comfort of your home. Mm -hmm. What's the plan? Is it going to be an empire? Have a go and be driven by that. And lastly, I would say, Take time to take care of yourself, no matter the stress, because you cannot you cannot function high capacity if you're not taking care of yourself. You know, go to that spa, fix your nails, read a book, take a break. If it's thirty minutes every week for self care, exactly. is really needed. Yes, it is really really needed because that's the only way you can rejuvenate, you can refresh, and mm -hmm. you can be at best for us your clientele you understand and you can even come up with more exciting ways more exciting yeah, content ideas. on how to package and push your business so determination and self-care for me is a goal she has already spoken about um god and you know me child of grace <laughs> very very important yes. i'm so so happy it has gone so well sharon has been very amazing oh, normally on my show we don't do interviews but this has kind of looks like an interview because yes. you know, she's like the business person and not the business person but we know they do and mm -hmm. you know so uh basically that's all i have to say i did not share my experience about my supervisor work it was a car cleaning business and it was very stressful because clients were demanding for a whole lot we had to always go to their houses to clean so going out with bosses that had equipment to clean cars some of them were even looking at you to make sure that you don't want to steal their stuff so there are some crazy clients Sharon, mm, yeah. that have trust issues that they bring that baggage into your own business of even course. when you're trying to please them they still find something to say no you did not do it well those are the ones i will tell you that when i was in london in it they said you are in nigeria okay? i mean when i was in america they didn't do it with his work yeah yeah you know and i mean i was working with somebody that her father owns a company in london a car wash so she was even using amazing I agree. products yeah. so but some people were still you can never please some people and that is where sharon patience comes in because you will never meet the, we are all different you're just not going to say to, sorry ma yes you're sorry not, sir at the same time there's a thin line between saying sorry and accepting bullshit yeah sometimes you stand for what you believe in and you know yes if losing a client would make you feel better you can let go of that client that client sure. is dragging you back as much as we want to be patient and be accommodating sometimes you don't want to let go of and course. put yourself or put your business for so you don't run into wahala so we've come to the end of today's episode today's Aww. show i'm so sad to let sharon go because you're looking so beautiful can Aww, i have the thank top? you uh, why not the neck piece Uncle. if it's the size you headset head, head. <laughs> that's supposed to give me free sharon barnett's head ah my dear we're getting there <laughs> no you see all these my friends asking me for free so anyway they patronize me a lot so Thank they you so it. much for coming. I'm Thank sure you for having me. Really, really enjoyed you. Guys, do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Do not subscribe. If you have not subscribed to this channel, you are wrong. If you have not subscribed and you are watching free yeah, video, yeah. 
subscribe it will not remove anything from your body subscribe tell mm, your thank sister, you tell your brother yes tell your enemies tell your parents <laughs> tell everybody because we are here to stay we are back so, and here to stay permanently. Of I'm course. going to be dropping more exciting stuff. So welcome to the new comment. I'm going to say <laughs> welcome to the family of what? Favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for having me. Bye. 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 Editing this video has been one of the hardest because my girl has finally jackpot. So this is just a little video of our time together. Sharon, thank you for everything. You've been amazing. I'm going to miss you. Our nice life, our club, our church. It's also, I took her to Afefe Yeba. We're just dancing, you know. She's amazing. Thank you for always taking care of me, for the prayers, for the love. And I hope that UK will favor you in Jesus' name. Amen. And I cannot wait to come for your wedding, to do a muga for your baby. Let me it's to be amazing. You God to my to house for them. This Anyways, guys, I hope you oh, enjoy the sleeping. Clip. The shower was close to my house to two weeks before she traveled, and I gave her. I used to dream about this day. I had ice cream. Oh, I used to. Uh, I pull up in it too. But you and me have been fighting on my thing. She always does it for me with sausages. I love sausages, so my own is different from every other person she just just gizzard with dodo but me sausages this was sharon she's at my bed day you see her very soon this is how she came she was hugging people and then she was talking to me thank you for accepting me with my exercise this is sharon setting up my studio for you know the youtube shoots <laughs> you can see how her working friends we are both april babies it's just here dancing jubilating when we celebrated our friends birthday sese 30th of march or 31st into 1st of april anyways so we're just a girl i'm really excited for all the future holds i cannot wait to come visit you in uk i cannot wait for us to travel together do 30 together do 40 I'm here. Anyways, this is our girl in UK. This is our girl in UK giving it to Ross. <laughs> this is when she arrived at the airport. Um, yeah, my I'm love. Oh, I miss you already. This is so, so emotional for me. I just realized eh, I did not put Kok Jepeng. Uh, yeah, this is just Sharon. More pictures of us sharon was at my graduation in babcock she graduated before me um due to certain reasons but we're in the same set and no i did not feel <laughs> anyways guys hope you enjoyed bye <music>